All right, so let's go ahead, load into the world. And as you can see, I have got the Minecon 13K like I select. Quick disclaimer, you can only use it in 1.18 at the moment, um, but I'll make a new video once you can use it in the latest versions. So the first thing you wanna do, go ahead, uh, load up Minecraft, the latest release. Once Minecraft is loaded, you wanna go ahead and go to the description Go to minecraftcapes.net, click register, and go ahead and copy this address or the server address, paste that in, and go ahead and join. Once you've joined, you get your authorization code. Go ahead, paste it down below here. So once you have entered the code, you will say welcome and you can go ahead and create a password so you can log in if you ever want to change your cape or do whatever. Once you've made your account, go ahead and click download. But just stay on this screen for now because we have to download Forge first. So this will, all these links will be in the description. Go to Forge and go to 1.18, 1.18.2 and download the uh, recommended one here. Click skip up here. It will go ahead and download. Uh, once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and install it. It's pretty easy. I've already got it installed, so I won't install it again, but you just click OK on Install Client. You can go back to Minecraft, click Cancel, and then quit the game. Once you've done that, you can close this Add Focus or the Forge tab. Go into Minecraft. Once Minecraft has loaded, you can go ahead and click New Installation, choose whatever icon, name it whatever, I'll just name it Forge. And then here with the version, you want to click here and you can actually type, just type Forge. And then look for Forge 1.18.2 uh, or the one that you downloaded. Go ahead and click that. You can change things in here, but uh, really no need. Click Create. And then once you've done that, you want to go and click the little folder icon here. You want to look for mods, go in that file. I already have everything downloaded. I'll just quickly delete that. Go back to Chrome and then you can download these two uh, mods. So we'll click this one. Look for 1.18.2. Click it again. So you see it's downloaded. Now on Optifine. Go show all versions and then here 1.8.2 oh, 1.18.2 sorry click download once that downloads you can just click and hold and drag it hover over the folder icon and then drag and drop do it for both of these mods you can X out of that so to actually get the mod or uh, the cape that you want you can go back to Minecraft capes.net. Once you're back on the website, you can go to gallery, Minecon capes. There are more here. You can actually make your own capes on some websites, but uh, you'd have to research that yourself. So if we go ahead and let's just download the 2012 one here. Brought on my other monitor, but it downloaded the image here. Go to uh, upload cape select file go into downloads and then you can see here click that and click upload once that's finished you can x out that if you want close out the folder make sure it's selected on the installation that you just made so it was that one click play this will pop up just click understand and click play again so once you load in you shouldn't get any errors uh before when i was trying it for 1.19 I was crashing and the mod wasn't properly loading for some reason so this is the version that I found that hasn't had any problems so far uh, but yeah, if you click mods it will say that you have the Minecraft capes mod installed go ahead go into a world and then as you can see we have got the Minecon cape or whatever cape you to, uh, select uh, so to change the cape simple just go back to the website and change it i believe you can just 
close out, or oh, actually test this right now. You can close out of the world, you can then go back into the, uh, to minecraftcapes.net and let's just go ahead and get the 2016 minecon here. I think this is most people's favorite to be honest. So once you have that, go upload K, do the exact same thing as you did before, upload it, upload, go back into Minecraft, go back into the world. Okay, it appears that you need to actually uh, close the game, close Minecraft and relaunch. All right, so we're back in Minecraft. I'll load into the world one more time. And there you go, you can see that the cave has changed. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead, like and subscribe. Comment down below if you do have any issues, I can try and help you. Join the Discord in the description, uh, meet some new people, do whatever. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace.